Uh, hi everyone. Uh, today I'd like to explain a very important concept in transformers called the voltage regulation. And in that voltage regulation, actually, there is a formula and it's applied at the secondary side of the transformer where the voltage at the secondary at no load conditions, meaning that there is no current, minus the voltage at the same times, but at the full load conditions divided by the voltage at the secondary at full load conditions. That is the voltage regulations. But many times the students wonder why this formula changed to this. VP, which is the primary voltage, minus AVS, which is the secondary voltage. So how this formula equal to that formula and some other concerns and questions about voltage regulation, I will try to explain it in this in this video. To start with, what is voltage regulation? It's regardless if it's a transformer or even a generator. It's the difference between the voltage at two different extreme conditions. At no load conditions, and at full load condition, no load means there is no current. It's an open circuit. Full load, you have the maximum allowed uh, load connected to your to your socket, socket, your transformer, to your generator, and so on and so forth. So the voltage regulation is V no load minus V full load divided by V full load. And obviously that we want to see this as small as possible. We don't want it to see this as large because when it is a small value, it means that the difference between the voltages is extremely small when you connect the full load or you don't have any load connected to, to, the, to that specific side of your circuit. So actually the voltage regulation is a measure of how stable is your voltage when you connect more or less or less loads. Okay, now where do we apply the voltage regulation when it comes to that? transformer we apply it to the secondary of the transformer not the primary of the transformer and why is that because this is where we connect the load so we are more interested to know how much variation in the voltage happens at the load side where the customer is affected so that is where we apply this and this is why we have the voltage regulation equal to the V secondary at no load condition minus the V secondary at full load divided by the V secondary at full load. So now we understand where do we apply this formula. The question is how this formula is actually when we apply it in a question about transformer, this is the formula that we use. Now this formula when the transformer model is referred to the primary. Now, if you refer to the secondary, there will be a little bit of a change. It will be VP over A minus VS divided by VS. So there is another uh, model when we are referring everything to the secondary, not to the to the primary. But whatever I will mention to this is applied to, to the model when it's referred to the secondary. Both are exactly the same approach. Okay. okay, so let's start. So now we understand that the voltage regulation happened at the secondary of transformer, and it's a difference between the voltages at no load and at full load conditions. Now, there is one important issue here that I would try to stress on, that we always assume that the VB, the primary voltage is constant at both the no load and the full load conditions. So I am not allowed to play with VB. VB is always a constant. So it's a supply. It's like a generator connected to that side of the transformer. So that will stay all the time constant. And this makes sense because I want to see the impact of changing the load current going from zero, meaning that there is no voltage drop to the maximum allowed current in the in the circuit, okay? So I want to see how this changing this current impact this voltage. But if I keep changing VB, then I have I'm adding another variable to this whole uh, question about the voltage regulation. So it will make it hard for us to understand what is the cause of the voltage drop. Is it because of the current or the supply? So always this supply is constant. So anything happened here is because of the change in the in the current. So this is I'd like to stress. Now at no load condition means that this current is equal to zero. 
if this current equal to zero, meaning that the voltage drop here is actually equal to zero. It means that AVS, the voltage at the secondary, is equal to the primary voltage. Okay, so your voltage at the secondary at no load is equal to VP, and that explains the first part in the in the equation. Why we have VP in the equation? Second, at full load, again, I'd like to remind you, VB is constant. So now IS over A, the current referred to the uh, primary side is at its maximum. This is the maximum allowed current. So there we will have here a voltage drop. Okay, and then the voltage now at this will be equal to AVS, the voltage that is given to you. It's not anymore VP. It is the AVS itself, and that is the voltage at the secondary side. So let me summarize everything. Okay, so the voltage regulation question, you will know the load. So you know that this is uh, 10 kVA at power factor equal to 0.8 lagging, or the current is equal to 20 amp. So you will know what is the load conditions. And at that load conditions, you want to find the voltage regulations. Okay, and we always concentrate at the secondary side of the, of the transformer. Okay, and you will be given the AVS. AVS will be given to you at the load condition, at the load condition, the condition that you want to calculate your voltage regulation. Okay, so we know AVS. This is AVS is your full load voltage. Now, at this condition, at this condition, apply KVL. When you apply KVL, you know that your VP is equal to your AVS, which is given in the question, plus this voltage drop. This voltage drop, which is equal to IS over A times this total Z equivalent, times the Z equivalent. Okay? Now, this VB that we found at the full load condition is the voltage at the secondary at the no load condition. So we calculate VB. Although VB now I calculated, this is the primary voltage at the full load condition, which is equal to the secondary voltage at the no load conditions, as we have seen before. Because why? Because VB is constant, does not change. It stays as it is. So if there is no load at all, it is equal to AVS. And now we can understand how the voltage regulation is calculated. It is VB, which is the VS at no load minus AVS, which is VS at our full load conditions.